Hey friends, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make use of keyframes, the benefits and how to enhance your video with the use of keyframes. So we're not going to talk too much in this video because there's a lot to learn. So let's just go straight into editing. First of all, what is keyframe? When you select your video like this, you will notice the keyframe up here. Yes, that is the keyframe. If I click on it, you will notice that there's a red dot that now appeared on the screen. If I click on it here, another one appears like it looks like a diamond. If I click on the minus, it means I have removed the keyframe from that place. So the first type of effect I can use keyframes for is the zoom in effect. So let's say you want your video to zoom in at a particular point. All you need to do is select. First thing I like doing is after the video plays. Now let's watch this video. Hey friends, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make use of keyframes. So we're going to zoom in when I say keyframes. So how I do this is to start from the part before I said keyframes. So how to make use of keyframes. So we're going to start from here before I said keyframes and hit keyframe. Then play again. Keyframes. So when it gets to the of keyframe. keyframes part, I'm going to click on the keyframe again. And I'm still going to make sure that your line this white line right here is on that diamond and showing red don't move it just stay on it like this and you're going to use both fingers to tap on the screen of your video and zoom in can you see that zoom in now let's watch it again use of keyframes did you see that when it got to this diamond it increased in size now we're going to add another keyframe right here, add it, and then zoom out. Now let's watch it. Of keyframes, the benefits and that's how you get it done. But if you do not want it to go down immediately, you can just remove this one. Hit split. And then zoom out. So it's going to be like use of keyframes. The benefits and how to make use of keyframes. The benefits and how to. Yeah. That's how you add keyframes. So if you don't want it to look like this, use if you don't want it to keyframes. zoom and zoom out, the all you need to do is just zoom in, then hit split. And it will go back to the way it was before originally. Use of keyframes, the benefits and how. Yep, that's how to do the zooming effect with keyframes. For the second one is color shifting. So I'm going to show you a previous video I have on my YouTube channel. So let's just watch. So I'm going to be teaching you guys color grading because that's what made this video from this to this. As you can see in that video, I switched from a very dull um video to a very bright color graded video so i'm going to be showing you guys how i did that so if you want to color shift all you have to do is okay let's say this is how your video already looks right but you want to let people know that the video was dull before then or let's just put it in black and white what you need to do is click select your video make sure you select your video else you won't be able to see the keyframe even when you're working on an overlaid video you have to select your video first now this is what the original video looks like now let's turn it to black and white so first things first hit your keyframe move forward hit on that keyframe so you see this particular keyframe we're going to stay on it and we are going to go to or adjust let's use adjust and we're going to reduce our saturation all the way down to minus 50. now this is black you see that now this is the video color shift now let's turn it back to that normal color, hit keyframe, stay on the keyframe and increase saturation back to zero. And there we go. This is how it's going to look. So my channel in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how Do you see that 
so like i taught you in the first video if you wanted to shift back quickly not like this this video i'm going to be showing you we're going to remove this part everything is black so what we're going to do is hit split here and this part we're going to take it back we're going to increase saturation over here and over here back to zero so this was going to look like in this video i'm going to be showing you guys do you see that so if you don't want it to fade out back to this color all you need to do is just hit split and it will go back to its original so form my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you guys yes and that is how to do the color shifting in case you want to make an impression of color grading or you want to create a scary video where you turn black and white then all of a sudden there's a light just you know for storytelling it's gonna be cool so you can make use of that this next one is my favorite like i always use this and this is volume adjustment so let's say you're watching a video let's watch this video right now hey friends welcome and welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how so now let's say we want a particular part of this video to be we want to reduce the volume right maybe it's louder than the other part of the video maybe my mouth was too close to this to the microphone let's just assume right so let's reduce a particular part of the video what we need to do is select let's say yeah, i'm gonna be we got louder at this point okay and then it went back to the normal volume at this point so let's say here is louder than other parts what we want to do is we're just going to hit keyframe over here and we're going to go to volume and we're going to reduce it well in this video i'm going to keyframes the benefit did you see that so let's increase it more than the rest so my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make use of keyframes did you see that so let's say you made a mistake in your video and one part of your video is louder than the other part you can use keyframes to enhance the audio of that particular part of your video do you get it it's just as simple as that it's just to hit keyframe at that point and increase the volume for that section that you you don't have to hit split but it's advisable you hit split though to make it perfect and so that it doesn't affect the entire video okay so yeah that's how to increase and adjust volumes in your video and you can also do this for your extracted music let's do it let's make what do it music right now let's pick a sound let's just turn off the original audio of this video so we can hear the sound clearly so let's say we want this part of it to be louder than the other parts let's say here to here so we're gonna work actually since you're very hit split you can actually just increase the volume but let's just say we want it to go up down up down up down so we're going to hit keyframe reduce volume select another part increase volume go to another part reduce volume go to another part increase volume by the way note that you don't have to see the keyframe as long as you move and you do something keyframe is going to appear so let's do it did you see that did you hear the sound? So let's just imagine we're talking and then it gets to a particular point where you want to say something, then you stop talking. Then you say something, then you want to stop talking. This, you can use this. You can use this keyframe to do that. Yep, as simple as that. To one of my favorites, which is animations or stickers using keyframe. So I know that you've seen me add in some stickers and then like fingers. Now let's just go straight into editing so I don't talk too much. Go to stickers and select absolutely anything. Let's use this heart. Welcome time. and welcome. And let's say we want this heart to move to this side smoothly. So what we need to do is hit keyframe at where it begins. Select, make sure you select this. Hit keyframe right here. And then go to the end. And then move with your finger, move the emoji right here. Now, this is what's going to happen. Hey, friends, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In this, you see that you can do this with emojis, you can do this with pictures, overlays, anything you want. Absolutely, let's use a picture, create 
add overlay and add a picture into your post. So as you say, I want to use this picture. We can also reduce the size using keyframes, but you can just use your finger and do that. But select the picture, hit keyframe here. We can now move it here, move it here, move it here. This is what's going to happen. Hey friends, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In this video, that's what keyframe is like. You can use keyframes to move the objects around and it will follow. Let me give you another instance. Let's use thicker and let's use a human being. So now we're just going to make this one bigger. And let's say we want to say she walked around, around the world, right? We're just going to reduce her. So she walked around the world. Move her. Move her. Can you see the keyframes are adding as we are moving her? She walked around the world. You can actually flip her. Click on mirror. Can you see that? Mirror is flipping her. So she flipped. Let's flip her at this point. It's split right here. And now we can flip her this way. So now she's walking. Hey friends, welcome and welcome back walking. to my channel. Do you see that? Walking. Hey friends, welcome and walking. welcome back to my channel. That's how you make use of keyframes. As simple as that. So you can play around with it and you get used to it and you enjoy the benefits of keyframes. Trust me. You can use it to indicate something, you know, just play around with it. I hope you guys found this video very helpful. Don't forget to leave a comment down below on what you want to learn next. And I can't wait to see the content you make using keyframes in your next video. See you guys and love you guys. Bye.